tops were only four or five inches high. We got hit with a horn. Hello all and welcome to Wayne's Allotment. The date is the 20th of August and this time of year I think it's quite safe to say that we're all busy harvesting and that's the job I want to try and do today. Uh, I've been on all, I'm on holiday this week and today as I say is Thursday the 20th and it's the first day that we've had some decent weather bit of blue sky and it's it's the first day we've had no rain so i think what i'm going to do is get on and get the potatoes up i have got my onions i could do with getting them up as well but um, they may have to wait for another day but the potatoes will definitely get them done so Let's go and get the spuds up. Okay, the potatoes. So that that bit of bare ground there, that had the charlottes in. So what I've now got is a row of King Edwards, a row of King Edwards, and then over there is Sarpomera. You can see that the tops they're Shall we say they've looked better and they're obviously not going to improve from as they are now. This is the one reason I'm thinking of getting them all up. The Sarpo mirror, yes, I'll admit, I could leave those in a little longer, but I don't think there's going to be a lot to be to be gained from doing that, to be perfectly honest. So I'm going to start with the King Edwards down here and work my way along and we'll just see what sort of a sort of a, a harvest of potatoes I do get off those
Well, that's the first row of the King Edwards. That's 12 seed potatoes. And looking along there, there's a very good mixed bag size wise. We've got some that'll be really good for baking. Something like uh, that one there, that's massive. And there's one or two more. And that's the first row. I don't know what sort of weight, I'm not really that bothered. One thing that I am is I'm very pleased with what's got up, what I've got up. I really am very pleased with those. So it's a case of spinning round and getting this next row up. But I'll show you what I've got when I've finished. Well, that's it. That, believe it or not, is two rows of King Edward potatoes. There's um, 12 seed potatoes in each row, and there's, you know, these are these are big, big baking potatoes, and then, you know, it's a mixed bag, and I'm really pleased with them because when I think back early on in the year when the, the when these first started coming through and they were about five or six inches tall, they got hit with frost. And I was unable to put any protection on them for about three days. So for three nights, they ended up being hit with frosts. And when I did cover them with protection, I honestly thought I was going to lose them. So these are a real, real bonus for me. I'm really, I'm chuffed to bits, chuffed to bits with these. And uh, I've also although you can't see very well, let me come to you some tomatoes these are well these are a bit of a mixed bag, this is uh, Crimson Crush and Bacardi but yeah they're very nice so they're all going to go home now and uh, I'll get them dry them all out around at home but yes I'm I'm really chuffed to bits with those, absolutely fantastic. Uh, I'm in the greenhouse because I'm going to pot on some overwintering onions. These are they. Uh, grown from, obviously from seed, in the Agrilan root trainer. Uh, Senshoy onion, 14th of July they were started. Uh, and I've I had great success with some onions, uh, Alsa Craig. I grew them just as a bit of an experiment. In fact, just uh, hang on a minute and I'll show you something. I'll be back. He's back. Uh, these are those Alsa Craig. That's just a couple of them I've just grabbed. I've, as you can see, I've got them in pots. They're outside in the garden here. I'm not going to put these uh, out on the plot. I'm going to leave them as they are in pots because I know they're not going to get um, a lot bigger really than they, they are. They're, they're going to start and die back but I'll eat them as spring onions you see but this was because these were originally done as an experiment to see if I could grow some onion or onions from seed and uh, let's put them down there out the way and uh, I used this Agrilan trainer root trainer and uh, it worked really well so I'm going to do these uh, overwintering onions, get them pot them on. I'm going to put them into little pots like this. Uh, I only want to leave them in these pots for a oh maybe six, seven weeks, something like that, and then we'll put them out on the plot. I'll have a bit of ground available then that I can put these into. Um, so I'll get them pot them on and then put them out on the plot. 
So uh, that's my job for now. So I'll uh, show you what I'm going to do with these and I'll bring you back once I've got some potted up. Right, I've filled 20 pots with compost. It's got a bit of vermiculite and a little bit of perlite in with it. Uh, I wanted to fill more than that but I've run out of compost but uh, I've uh, oh, probably a couple of months ago now I've found a, a new place that does the clover compost I used to have a place very close that did it but he's very hit and miss he's a, an old fashioned hardware store and it, I don't know whether it's me or what but when I want to go and get some clover compost he's got none <laughs> uh, there is another place I can go to uh, out of town but this new place I've found um, isn't particularly that far away either and they are 75 litre bags and I think there's something like I think it's something like 575 a bag and um, they've got pallets and pallets of the stuff of uh, we, we went out there and um, <laughs> they've just got loads of these pallets must have about 10 pallets of it all stacked up so I've found a new place for me clover compost so getting back to the onions um, I'll just show you me potting one or two of these on and then I'll bring you back uh, to show you what's finished this Agrilan root trainer I don't know whether any of you have ever seen these before but as you can see this both edges there's a little lip there and if you I don't know whether it will pick up that well but you push that inside do the same there he says fumbling to push that inside there and then when <laughs> I can't see very well but then when you press that it starts to just push them up you can't see it very well but I'll I'll lift one out and show you there you go there you go that's so then all as I do make a little hole with my finger push that in and pot it up so I'll get and do these and I'll bring you back when I fill these 20 pots there we go that's 20 potted up they will uh, go out on the plot today what are we? today is the 11th of August um, so they're not going to stay in them pots for too long because I want to get them out onto the allotment as soon as I can and um, I'm just waiting for a bit of ground to become available so these will probably go out end of September something like that um, and then uh, there'll be some ground available for them then so that's me overwintering Ishuji onion is it pronounced as usually um, all potted up ready to go just been around the allotment I was going to film this round on the allotment but I've been interrupted too many times so I'll spin you around and I'll just show you what I've been harvesting there we go French beans some well I'll show you some tomatoes raspberries there's these are Charlotte potatoes, all a good size. A few beetroot, some carrots, a couple of courgettes. Believe it or not, yes. Believe it or not, <laughs> I overlooked them. A bit of sweet corn, some lettuce, and some should we say normal spring onions. So yes, we've had a nice little little harvest there off the allotment. Well, that's it for this one. Thank you all very much for watching. It really is very much appreciated. Um, I'm really pleased to bits with that 
got a harvest of uh, King Edward potatoes and, uh, and another thing as well that uh, is a little I find a little unusual but it might just be me is that nobody else on uh, my particular site grows King Edwards uh, they all seem to um, for want of a better way of, of putting it they seem to poo poo the idea they, they, you talk to people and they say oh they're prone to slugs and oh they're not a very heavy cropper and oh they're prone to blight and yeah well I mean blight slugs things like that it's you don't know from year to year what's gonna whether you're gonna get uh, bugged by those things at all it, it's nature it's it's what we're working with so um, it's the second year I've grown um, King Edwards uh, uh, for last year I think yeah I only grew, did one row and uh, had a really good crop off them that's why I've done two this year and uh, yeah really pleased uh, if you like what you see then uh, please uh, hit the thumbs up leave a comment I always get back to comments uh, and if you want to be notified of any more videos of mine coming up just hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon um, with regards comments let me whatever it is good or bad please comment please let me know what you think of the videos um, it's all very much appreciated it's food for thought for me so I'll leave you at that be good be safe and I'll see you in the next one thanks a lot